Hello Eye Photography. Today we've got a super special treat for you. We're heading out to the zoo to meet wildlife experts and newest eye photography tutor, Rachel Sinclair, who's going to teach us some wonderful techniques for photographing animals at the zoo and in the wild. Let's get going. So if you want to photograph an animal that's moving quite quickly, then I'd suggest using shutter speed priority, so that's S, yeah. or TV if you're using Canon. And you want to use anywhere from 500 up to around 2,000. So 500 if it's quite a slow animal, up to 2,000 for like a bird that's flying. Okay. Yeah. And then if you wanted to do a portrait of an animal that's relatively still, I'd use aperture priority, so A or AV if Canon. Yeah. And you're going to use a low aperture if you want to blur the background. Yeah. Go for a middle aperture, something around F8, F11 if there's two animals, so one behind the other, mm -hmm. but you still want to blur the background. Or a nice high aperture like F22 if you want to get the scenery as well as the animal. Okay. So just try and break it down into three. <laughs> so you've got a beginning, a middle and an end. Yeah. And start with low aperture, middle aperture and then a high aperture. Okay. Cool. Let's give that a try. So we've got this lovely elephant here, a lovely Asian elephant. We've got the building in the background, which I'm not too keen on. So I'm going to zoom in. I love the hay on his head. And uh, I just want to wait until he picks up some food so we can grab that as well. So. So we've got this cheetah here, yeah. which is um, sort of popping her head up and down. And we're going to have to wait a while. So you might want to lean your camera on here mm -hmm. and set up your back button focus. Yeah. So you can lock focus on her and then you can be stood up right. You don't have to keep that like that. And then when she does pop her head up, you can fire your button and you'll know that it's going to be in focus because you've locked your back button focus. And you just uh, make sure you zoom in through the fence so we don't get the fence in the photo. And then if you want, you can just look up and look at her naturally and then when you're ready, just press your button. Right. So this isn't really a great angle because of the fence and I'm looking down at the animal. So if I go round, I'll be able to get a much clearer shot. So this is a better angle as I'm not looking down on the camel, more level with him. Um, I also don't have the fence in the way. There is a fence in the background, so just keep in mind to use a smaller aperture to try and blur that fence. Hopefully by watching this video you now understand that even though I have a strong photography knowledge I still need that little bit of wildlife guidance to take those cracking shots at the zoo. So thank you for Rachel and if you'd like any more information head to iphotography.com forward slash wildlife to check out Rachel's dedicated wildlife photography course. We look forward to seeing you in the iPhotography gallery soon.